Well, as a kid, growing up in Mumbai and seeing all that buzz and activity where there'd be a lot of people who were repairing your clothes and your shoes, the excitement was just overwhelming. I loved every bit of it because I loved the fact that I could see that entrepreneurial spirit. People wanted you to come in there and, and be happy with the fact that they had provided this service in repairing and, and you could then walk away feeling like you had actually made your favorite piece of clothing or your shoe last a lot longer. That same entrepreneurial spirit all these years later, I see that right here in Australia. As a scientist, as an engineer and an inventor, I can actually bring all of those concepts to life in recycling and in manufacturing is something that I still get excited about. The opportunity and the privilege I've had living and working in Australia has given me the chance to do my science, my engineering and discoveries, to be able to bring recycling into a whole new realm of remanufacturing, making all kinds of exciting products, and even getting down to that micro level of micro recycling, looking at how electronic waste that contains so many different parts could actually be brought to life in the form of new products. And these new products can then be used in our economy in a productive way. All of this means that we can actually show that recycling and manufacturing can together make a big difference on our society and our well-being. You know, we live in a country that respects people, respects our environment, respects science, and more importantly, respects the fact that, you know, we have to look after all human beings. And that's what I love about what I do. I love listening to all the amazing, inspiring stories of hope and optimism and all the incredibly amazing things that people do. And when I listen to all of those stories, it helps me think about all kinds of innovative solutions that I could be developing to solve our environmental challenges. And this is what gets me out of bed. This is what gets me inspired. Come with me on this journey of recycling and discovery to really find out how different kinds of items that you might think are no longer useful can actually be reformed and transformed and be given a whole nother life. What this could mean for our society that collectively we through our micro actions can have a big impact on our environment.